Hi there, today I'm going to show you how to record and edit a video fan sign using a Mac and an iPhone. So one of the advantages of video fan signs is that you can record them and save that experience to rewatch it. Unfortunately, with the recording, it's not as simple as dragging down, going to the screen record button, and making sure that the microphone is turned on. Because most of these fan signs will go through Kakao Talk. So what you're going to need to do is be prepared to record using two different devices, hence the phone and the computer. So I'll be using my MacBook to record the audio and I'll be using my iPhone to record the video. So to start with recording the video, what you're going to need to do is be ready to screen record quickly. The way it works with Kakao Talk is that you cannot be recording the screen prior to answering a call. In fact, as soon as you answer a call while you're screen recording, it will stop your screen recording. So when you get your call from Kakao Talk, you'll quickly accept the call, then go in and do the steps for starting a screen record. The harder part is, of course, recording your audio. To record the audio, I like to use GarageBand. It comes preloaded on your Mac. And before your call, make sure you test out GarageBand and figure out the best way to get sound from both yourself and your phone. So what I did was I used an external mic because I had one available. So make sure that you have someone call you on Kakao Talk on your phone and practice setting your phone around different spots, different microphone areas, both on your computer and external mic. Figure out what will sound best, both coming from you, but definitely coming from the phone. When you record, you push the record button, pretty self-explanatory. You're going to do that as soon as you start your fan call. Now, one thing to know, because this probably sounds really stressful with both starting a screen record and starting the audio recording, is that when your fan call starts, you're going to have a little bit of downtime. There's going to be time where the camera is covered on the other end, and so you don't need to worry about being prepared to talk to the artist immediately. You will have time to get things started. Now with recording the audio, as you're gonna see, you end up with a big <laughs> chunk of dead space. So we don't even start hearing any noise until about 28 seconds in. We're gonna go ahead and use the recording I made during my Just Be fan call. And if we listen in at 28 seconds, this isn't even really talking. So that's the background noise coming in from the call, but it's not where I talk. You can tell the first place that someone talks is right here because the wavelengths get taller. So if we listen here. Hi, Ganu. Oh, there we are. So that's the very first thing that anyone says in my fan call. So now is the part that I think is the most difficult. You're going to cut your audio to sync it up to your video. The easiest way to do this is to reference your video on your phone and reference your audio on your Mac because that way you can tap start simultaneously. Unfortunately, that won't work for this tutorial, so I'm going to show you how I do this using my video in iCloud. So here is my video from the fan sign. And if we watch it, starts out with that blank screen. Oh, and there's Ganu, and there's no sound. So what's gonna be hard about this one is because you can't see me, we're going to have to sync everything off of what Ganu is saying. So if we go back to the beginning, and we listen right here. 
on the audio recording. How are you? So the first things he said are, hi, I'm good, how are you? So let's take a look and find where he says, I'm good, how are you? There's hi, I'm good, how are you? So that is 10 seconds in. So what I need to do is find where that was. That was right around 44 seconds. I'm gonna take back 10 seconds. So 44 minus 10, 34. I'm so glad math comes in handy for this. So I'm gonna go back to 34 and we're gonna see how well this syncs up. Go back to the beginning on the video, play and play. So it didn't sync up quite perfectly. So we're going to go ahead. We just adjust it back and forth and back and forth. And that can take a little bit of time. So we're going to do some cooking show magic. And I'm going to go ahead and go to where I need to on my recording. So once you get your header, that's what this is, to where you want it, your playhead, you're going to do command T. And what that does is it splits this into two parts. Go ahead, get rid of that first part. We don't need it. And we're going to drag it all the way to zero seconds. So it's the beginning of our video. Then what I want to do is I need to turn this into a file that I can play on my iPhone. So when you go up here to share song to music, you're going to give it a title. We'll just call this just B. We're going to export it in the highest quality for iTunes. Click share and then it runs through, converts everything into a format that can be used on iTunes, Apple Music, whatever they call it now, they've changed the name. <laughs> and as you can see, it takes a little while for it to bounce. I'm gonna go ahead and close up this side and open up my music because it's going to get sent there when it's finished. really making the little circle go into overtime. All right, so here is my music. And take a look at GarageBand. Still doing that export. I'm pretty sure you don't want to sit here and watch it export, so I'm going to pause this and restart it when it's ready. All right, there we go. See, the track is now in my music. Now I've got to move this track from my computer over to my iPhone. So I'm going to sync those up. sync and this way what I need the audio track will be moved to my iPhone where I already have the video so finally I will be able to put the audio and the video together using iMovie on my iPhone
All right, let's pop on over to the iPhone. All right, so we pop on back over to the iPhone and we'll do the rest of our editing from here. So if you open up music, there you'll find the track that we just sent over. And in photos, we've got our video. Now here is the important thing about editing this. You're going to take your video and you need to edit it by rotating it 90 degrees to the left. I know it sounds crazy, but the reason you have to do this is because if you don't, when we make the video, putting together the original video and the audio track, then the ratio will be completely off when you're looking at it on a phone screen. So you rotate it, done. It saves it in the new sideways setting. Then we're gonna pop into iMovie. In iMovie, under start a new project, we're gonna choose movie. And your moments will pop up. We're gonna go ahead and take and create a movie using this. See, there's our movie from earlier. It's all nice and sideways. Go back to the beginning, push the plus button, then choose audio, go into my music, and I find what's easiest is to search for your track. So when you make your track, you want to give it a name that's easily searchable. So I'm just gonna use Just Be, and it's under artist, albums, there it is, there's my song. Just be, push my plus sign. So now you can see that the audio and the video have synced up. So let's push play and see what happens. Hi, Ganu. How are you? Hi. I'm good. How are you? Good, thanks. Perfect. It is perfectly synced up. So now that those are synced up, you can just tap it done and it has my movie and in the bottom left corner you have that play button tap that and it shows it to you at the correct angle I got you. I'm gonna go ahead and close out of that now if you're like me you want to cover up the image of you in the fan sign video so that top left corner picture and I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do that so edit your movie what you need to do is pick out a picture that you want to go in that top left corner. Or though I guess when your video is up there, it's your bottom left corner, but it will be your top left corner. So going back into our photos, let's say I wanna use this picture. What I need to do is first duplicate it. Then the one that's duplicated, I'm going to edit it by rotating it 90 degrees to the left, just like we did with the video. When I go back into making my video, do that plus sign, moments. There is that sideways picture we just put in. Instead of pushing the plus sign, I'm going to push the three dots and choose picture in picture. So as you can see, it puts it on your video as an overlay. So the way you adjust this picture is you tap down here, not actually the video part, but down on the bar. You can get rid of that white border by tapping the border. And then to edit it, you hit the arrows and you pinch and drag however you would like your picture to look. And as you can see, it only showed up right here. So you can pinch, pick it up, drag it to the beginning. Then once you have it highlighted, push duplicate and just duplicate it all the way to the end of your video. You can also increase the length by 
pulling it down. Whatever works for you, but this video is 11 minutes long, so it would take a good chunk of time to do that. So push done. Let's see how it looks. Hi, Ganu. How are there you? it is. There's that video. Good, thank you. So even though the top left corner picture is not where I would want it permanently. I'm not going to work on it anymore. I just want to show you the final step. So you're going to share your movie by saving it. So when you save it, it exports it to your photos. And exporting is going to take a minute. So I'm going to go ahead and do some cooking magic pause here and restart once it's done exporting. Oh my gosh. I really, I don't know if you know how long that cooking magic took, but it took a while to export, but it's done. So if I go over to my photos, here's our video. And you look at it and you go, wow, Ginger, thanks. It's sideways. Yeah, I know it's sideways. So we're gonna do what we need to do to make it not sideways. We're gonna go into edit. We're going to do the rotation. This time it needs to be 90 degrees to the right to put it back up. Since you can't rotate to the right, we're going to go to the left, to the left, everything you own in the box to the left. Done. And it saves the video in the correct direction. Ganu looks so happy. I'm happy too, Ganu. We're almost done with this video. <laughs> All right. Wow, it really didn't want to end. There we go. All right. Going to turn on the mic. Push play. Hi, Ganu. How are you? Hi. Oh, I'm good. How are you? Good. Oh, it's all synced. It's done. It's perfect. Hooray. So that is how you can take your fan sign video and your fan sign audio and combine them together to make one video that you can share and treasure forever. Now, of course, this is just how I figured out to do it through trial and error. If you have tips or other ways that you edit your fan sign videos, leave them in the comments. Help other fans out because we all want to figure out how to do this so we can enjoy our fan signs in the future. Thanks so much for tuning in and I hope you have a lot of fun at your next fan sign.